keys again for you. Uh, my permissions have just become up. But, special guest today, I shall leave it with you guys. Hello everyone, thank you for your very kind words and uh, all the support you gave me. Yeah, I'm getting myself sorted. Uh, I'm on the detox. So on that note guys, Oh yeah, a uh, big thank you to Rexons with the uh, cracking merch that we got. Uh, Paul, Jim, uh, thanks again. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm on the way there, so lost for words. Thank you to everyone for your like, kind words and all your support. So on that note, guys, we'll catch you on the first. Well, everybody. <laughs> Five minutes in, we come from there to here. Solid 66 on the apex. I will get into some live digs. I'm just waiting for a better harness and stuff like that. I know I always keep making excuses, but I'm sorry. So yeah, not a bad first target. Muscato ball. Beautiful. Yeah, we've only been on this. We've only been on this particular field a few times. Uh, if you remember a good few seasons back, this is where I got my first silver half crown on here. But, uh, yeah, let's see what today brings. Uh, it's normally up and down this field. Not for detecting wise, but for growth wise. It's, it's very hard to get on here sometimes. But anyway, enough of my crap. Okay. Right, boys and girls, got my first target. I've been here for about. 25 minutes or so, and this is my first time. But I haven't got a clue what it is. There's nothing on the bottom. There's a little knobby thing inside. I just haven't got a clue, and it's heavy as hell. If anyone knows what that is, please leave a comment below. But I have not got a clue. But that's some weight in that. Ah, not unusual. Right, catch well, on. Well, now, lovelies. Eh, number two. And it's down here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Sorry about my shoddy camera work. Not used to it, don't for a bit. Well, musket ball number two. If I find any more, I'll probably put another two on, but I must get balls, unless it's something out of the ordinary. But yeah, guys, second signal, two musket balls in the pot. On to the next. Well, guys, Jim has just joined us. The first thing I want to do, I want to show you my settings on the Apex. I've got on zero. Now, this is going off uh, Tyson Fury's mate, Terry. Uh, I've gone in zero. Okay, any of you don't, not too sure, if you go through your modes like that so I'm in zero I've notched out my first 30 then if you go to your middle button as you know your menu you've got sensitivity I've got two down off sensitivity iron volume straight up because they're quiet these fields but you get the odd scratchy signal with a bit of iron but a good notching so I keep my volume up keep my iron volume up now frequency I ain't too sure about these frequencies yet but when I've watched a few things about the Apex, I've heard that 20s, it's a, it's a deep frequency, especially for going with zero. So yeah, as you know, I've gone zero, I've notched out my first 30, volume up, iron volume up, and my frequency is 20. Okay, it's got 15, 10, 5, multi-salt when you're on beach, multi-frequency, but I'm using it in 20. And I've got it in channel 3. I've no interruptions and I've no EMF coming through. If I start that, all you have to do is just go through my channels. You've got 8 channels for choose from. I normally choose between 3 and 4. It's normally the quietest. If I go to a, if I find any power lines and I get that bit of interruption, I'll flip through till it goes quiet. So yeah, 0, first 30 noctite, 2 off the sensitivity and frequency 20. Everything else up. But... My third fan and Jim's here, so I think everybody it's going to be a penny. 
but I'm just going to let Jim up camera just while I tech this up. It looks like a Penny James, doesn't it? It does. It is. It's a spendable. Spendable. 1p, but it's there and it gave me a cracking signal. I knew it was a coin trader, but it was giving me 88 to 1. Double dinging. But yeah, hey, Penny's a Penny. Musket bolt. Yep, just a musket bolt. Catch on next. Well, my friends, uh, sweating a little bit, but I think I've got some old. And it's just there. Uh, Definitely a coin. Oh, drops his guys. It's definitely a coin. Just it's a bit toasted. Uh, I'll give that a clean up later on. But yeah, I'm definitely having that's a coin. <laughs> on to the next guys. Well, everybody. Can you see it? Surface found a nice button, looks like. Looks like he might have something on to. It's a bit crusty. Shank. I'll clean it off later and uh, I'll do a bit of a wrap up later on. Button in the park, on to the next. Well, everybody. Ah, found another nice little farm. Came from out of there. Check it. It's got shape. I know it's a ring, but... It looks old. It's flat on the inside and it's also flat on the outside. I don't think it's a finger ring, probably a bridal ring or something. But yeah, ring in the pot, on to the next. Well guys, everybody. Any ideas? I think it might be an old buckle. A section of it anyway. It's bronze, brass, whatever. Buckle, I think. If anybody else knows, drop us a line. On to the next. Well, Jim's over there, I'm here, and I think I've got roundness in the hole. Lovely signal. Yep, it's definitely a coin. Let me just give it a quick clean. Well, guys. I think it's a George II. I think you can just see his face if you turn it that way. Nothing on back, unfortunately. But we'll give it a good clean later. I'll send some pictures. So, yeah. On to the next. Now, guys, it's probably nothing. Uh, it's lead. It's this little thing here. It's definitely been shaped in some kind. Oh, it looks like there's a little uh, head there or something. Uh, probably nothing, but it looks pretty cool. Right, catch you on next. Well, everybody, from down there, it's another rounder, and I think it's an old 5p. Yeah, old far P. On to the next. Right, boys and girls, that's it for us today. Uh, had a good few hours. Paul's got quite a bit today. Uh, I got a few little bits, which you've seen in the video. Few nicky knack knacks. Yeah, so that's it for us today, and hopefully we'll be out again real soon. Unfortunately, we've got bad weather coming along in the next few days, so let's see what happens. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. 
I'm going to go home and see his new dog. Yeah, Paul's going to see his new dog. So on that note, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. From Jim and Paul.